Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Disco Elysium Part 29. In the previous video, uh, I don't know man, it's been a while since I recorded this because uh, as you may have noticed, there have been no, well, there have been a couple normal videos that will have gone up before this one. I don't know when that it's going to be because I still have no internet. I've had no internet for five days, almost six days now. Today's Wednesday, it went out Friday morning. So, I guess, I guess five, almost six days, uh, still absolutely no communication whatsoever, have no clue when it's going to come back, it's impossible to get in contact with anyone who can actually tell me anything, it's a, it's a really fun time, I already talked about it a lot in like a Yakuza video, so go watch, I think like part 36 of that, if you want to hear the full breakdown of why I have no internet, kind of, in the story, there is one update though, which is that like, I think part of the reason maybe that like the local power company is absolutely and totally fucking up, like half of the town just keeps losing power. Like I've had power since Saturday morning, today's Wednesday, the 21st of June. Ho ho hopefully that'll be uh not that far in the past by the time this video goes up but who knows that may be like a year i maybe have to specify the year because who knows how long this is going to go on for because it's like half of the town just like I, I it just keeps losing power and so i don't know if that's part of the reason why my internet can't get restored i don't know i can't talk to anybody because comcast is a, is a horrible company and I have no other options because the only other service provider in my area is AT&T who have not updated their infrastructure since approximately the year 1998. And the service that they offer is laughable. The sight of bullet holes stirs something in you, making you forget the lieutenant's surname. Uh, Kim, look, bullet holes. Where? Someone's been shot. We're the cops. We should solve it. There? Those are old. What do you mean old? These bullets were fired during the revolution over half a century ago. They do not warrant investigation. That's what you think. Not much. I don't have a fresh perspective on it. Shall we go? Well, why'd you even friggin' bother interrupting me? Kim, do you know what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I don't. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going to find Ruby. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and we're gonna go, we're gonna talk to Ruby. And we're going to come back alone, talk to Chickadee. Because we think that she's, well, she's still up there. Because our brain is telling us that she's lying to us. And I do think her story is sus. But I don't, I haven't seen any obvious, like, contradictions on it. So here's what we'll do. We'll head out, because we do need to talk to her alone, apparently, because I can't remember what, even what it was, but I know there was something we wanted to talk to her with, uh... Your heart repeats it? I wouldn't mind a bad but bass beat. Oh, if only I could get these damn speakers, but I got no money, Kim. Kim, do you know what it's like to be poor? I don't know why we're walking over there. We could have fast-traveled, but you know what? For old times' sake... Our perception's higher. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll find some. For old time's sake, we'll, we'll walk around since we're potentially getting closest to the end of the game. I don't really know. If it does end on day five, like they kind of told us. Uh, this is new. The, swing. the wind whistles through the skeleton. Oh, we missed it originally? Behind you. There's desolation everywhere. Yet someone used to live here. Laugh here. Thought it was a good idea to build a swing, even. What happened here? In this yard? Lieutenant looks at the small building. A flock of gray swallows takes off in the distance. Someone thought they could have a summer house in a block obscure for cheap. It didn't work out. They What's abandoned it about a decade ago. What's a block obscure? A black block. A part of the city left unrenovated after the war. Or one that has fallen to gang violence. Or has become inhospitable in some other way. Somewhere you don't have to pay rent, I presume? Practically. It's not an official term in any way, but... Look around. No sewage, 
broken power lines, crime, drunks. Life is tough in the blocks. It's no place to build a summer house. Maybe for something useful. Yes, for you to pick up as part of the Jamrock Shuffle. Hey, I didn't officially take that thought. It's not meant as nagging, just an observation. We should move. I don't think our suspect is in this particular yard. No place to hide. And besides, it's too close to Martinez. Okay, speaking of thoughts, we give enough alcohol, we still got another hour, Kim. In one hour, we'll have never, we'll purge alcohol from our system, maybe? Or something? If I spent 20 hours on this thought and it gives me a minus stat, I might be done. Still don't know what to do with this. Can we try the flashlight here? How do I equip the flashlight? I feel like I did, but... Okay, so we still don't really know what the hell's going on there. Give me my multi-tool back. <laughs> so what does this do again? Okay, it gives minus authority. We'll want to unequip that if we're ever doing any authoritative actions. Speaking of authoritative actions, what the hell are these shoes, my dude? You're not, you're not protected. Got to protect them feeties. I, was, I guess we should equip all these just because sometimes when we equip stuff, there's yeah you thoughts. Finally made it, haven't you? People point fingers at you and Oh, this is the piss, uh, whatever, jacket. To themselves, where did that man get such a cool jacket? Did he receive it upon graduating the École Normale Supérieure de Badasserie? Is he dangerous? Damn right I'm dangerous to criminals and other ne'er-do-wells. You are very dangerous, my friend. Dangerous and cool. In fact, no one dares to say a single thing about the jacket. But believe me, they are all very impressed. Cool. That's pretty cool. But by fuck the world jacket. Nothing to say for it? What about the sweet shades? Yo, we're like, we're like a like a super fly art critique person. What, what am I supposed to be wearing? Uh, please give. I don't really care about suave flop, some whatever. And then I want a different, I want a sweet blazer. The most dope of blazers. Yo, that's the trip right there. <laughs> the, uh, mer the cat, the mercenary, uh, Geisha look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what's really in. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? They keep me up at night. I can't handle any noise when I'm trying to sleep. Nay, I haven't seen anyone lately. Do you know what I'm talking about? This is my little cinder block town. I know what goes on around here. She's being evasive. She knows something. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. We would appreciate your help. Would you now? I know how this world works. And it doesn't work when people tell on each other. Something about the union, you know? You don't have to worry about retaliation. Ah, I should have known. This is yet another union. I said, is it? I'm not afraid of them, you know? We are not in the habit of being afraid around here. But, but we said it's not about the union. Why don't you believe me? What, you, you, this is like the face of a man who's not believable? I see, you know something you decide not to tell us. There's not much to tell. People come and go. Now, was there something else? I see, ma'am. I hope you don't mind if we look around anyway. You should look around your shack. Maybe she's rented it out to others too. Hey, whatever you say.
Oh, that's new. As you look at the floorboards in this corner of the shack, it's clear one of them isn't quite level with the others. The edge of a floorboard next to it looks scratched. Hollow space underneath the floorboards is dark and damp. You can barely make out the mixture of sand and sawdust below. What's in here? Nothing particular catches your eye. Looks like more reeds. There might be something hidden inside the sand, though. Something bad. Someone's night thoughts. A last resort. A bad idea. A murder weapon. Search of the sand and sawdust. You stick your hand in and start combing through the sand. Dry, not like outside. Fine dust. And then, something hard wrapped in paper. What is it? A small cylindrical object. You pull it out. A bullet. A nine millimeter bullet, to be exact. Fit for all muzzle loaders of that caliber. Like your own Villiers pistol, for example. The floorboard doesn't care. But maybe the washerwoman does. You have enough to confront her with. It's extra ammunition. She's locked and loaded, ready to fight some cops. I mean, I hope not. Holding the bullet, you get the feeling. This isn't ammunition against you. It's for herself. Okay. Aha! I found that you were charging this bullet rent. That's illegal in Martinez. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. Why was there a bullet under the floorboard of your shack? Damn that girl. And without anger, a long and harsh life has taught her not to buckle under pressure. A bullet? Tenant turns to you and gives you a little nod. You didn't put it there, did you? She did. Gone and hid things in there? She's usually a good tenant, and not a stupid one either. You rented the room tour? Yes. I let my room to that ruby girl. He speaks slowly, wringing out a rag. After a long silence, her hands move into the water bucket and some water sloshes over the edge. As I've done before when she's been in trouble or just looking for solitude. I've made it clear. We welcome all kinds of people here. When was this? She came last Friday, left on Monday in a hurry. What has she gotten herself into, that girl? Mm. She seems genuinely worried about her previous tenant. She's seen her hiding out from trouble before. But this seems different. That's for the police to find out. Right there. Please answer each question to the best of your ability. You said I'm she sure we have a few. You said she left on Monday? Yes. Early with the dogs. Around eight o'clock, I think. She probably heard the lieutenant's Kanema drive by, and it woke her up. Just like it did you. you must have heard your Kanema. Yes. That is a downside of having a 130 kilowatt engine. It lets the bad guys know when you are coming. Hey, we knew when you were coming. Does that make us a bad guy? Is the room exactly as she left it? I cleaned it. Like I always do. Anything in there? No. The truth, sire. Hey, whatever you say. What's she like? She's good company. Knows how to talk to an old woman. At my age, you don't get a lot of quality conversation. So I really appreciate that about her. This ruby is an old lady whisperer. She knows how to work the village elder. What are you talking about? I'm getting free rent. Did she talk to you much during her last day? No, she was mostly silent this time. Kept to herself. What do you mean? She tried not to let it show, but I could tell she hadn't come to fish. Usually she likes to cross a few lines, but this time she mostly stayed in her room. She wanted to talk to her, as they usually do. But she was brooding. Why do you think she left a bullet here? How would I know? She's a gruff one, but not violent. She doesn't go around toting a gun. You could ask her about your hunch. That it was a desperate measure. See if she thinks Ruby fits the bill. I have a possible explanation in my mind. I Do tell. It's an exit plan. Exit from what? Um... Yes. The lieutenant stops writing for a moment. He looks at you, then at the old woman. No, she's a fighter. She really believes that. 
you have any technical equipment like a radio? Not that I knew of. Well, she was into nice music. She once showed me a few mixtape millions she'd made. Water drips to the ground? Although I guess she was pretty handy with the mechanical and technical stuff. Even fixed the heater in the shack. You should be thankful for that. Where did she go? I don't know. Further up the coast. In the she bunker. She tried to leave quietly, but the hinges on that door screeched like a cat in heat. Woke me up. I heard her rushing in those heavy boots, heading up north. You'll never find her, you know. She knows the coast like the back of her hand. You only just arrived. I wouldn't worry about that, man. We are persistent. Well, I was really hoping she found in the village. Yes, it's going to be too much work for you to find her. What if she Better killed someone? You to stay here, Would you really get a nice cozy fire going in the heat? Would you really want her to escape just because she was nice to you a few times, even if she killed someone? Electric neuron. You feel like you should go look at it again. Step closer this time. Okay. Whatever One you say. Thing, officer. If you do find her, please go easy on her. We might. She really means it. It's an honest plea. She's a good girl. Whatever she's gotten herself mixed up in. Well, we'll be the ones to decide that. Mm, I have three skill points. I want anything. I think we just keep holding them for now. Let's see the murals over this way. I think. The slit in the concrete? The light vanishes inside the concrete slit. The structure goes deep under the earth. Yo ho! Into the slit. There's no echo. And no answer. What's in there? Maybe it's just a storm drain for the sewer. You have any idea? No idea. Could be connected to one of the buildings around here. Think we might find Ruby down there? We might find her down somewhere. There's an old storm drain system beneath Martinez that's mostly collapsed. Revachal sewage system has been built and rebuilt four or five times now. Bro, don't tell me this game is a fucking sewer level. In conclusion, she could be under any building. But not in there? I hope not. Okay. Because if you <laughs> MFers give me a damn sewer level. Oh, we, we fighting. Oh, dude's gone. There's a perception thingy over here. The remaining windows rattle from a strong gust of wind. They're covered in a thick layer of grime. They must have been like this for 40 years. Dripping inside. water falls from a high place. All you can see is the shadow of a collapsing staircase. Can you see anything? No. I won't even try. You know, I had a partner once. They called him Eyes because he had to show me things. It's that bad. This partner of his, Eyes, things didn't end well. It saddens him to say his name. Don't even ask. He wouldn't answer. Maybe some other small talk. You can still shoot though, right? Well enough, actually. It's odd how that works. I'm no sharpshooter, but I pass my shooting courses 7 out of 10. His hands lead the way when it comes to that. And his shoulders. It's reflex. Oh, I know we could put some point into hand-eye coordination because we have that... Skill check? Well, we should have done the skill check then put points into it. Let's look at that real quick. Where is it? Interact. The bullet is still safely sealed away. Okay, we want to get some, some hand-eye coordination. I don't think we have... I think we have, like, one source of it. Boy, my favorite part. The one thing I haven't missed about this game. Maybe we don't have any handout coordination. Oh, okay, we got that. Pretty sure that's all we have. Nothing taking it away. 
So it's still not a great shot, but what if we just rolled high? The bullet is still safely sealed away. You can't remember what happened last week. What do we what roll? Makes you think you're going to remember Seven? Firearm model. What if I tried it really hard? How do I get out of the screen? The bullet is still safely sealed up. A rifle. Revolutionary period. Your bullet looks to be an old four point four six. Just just minute. enough. Well, a little over just enough. Left over from the turn of the century. Probably an antique or a retrofitted antique. Make the four point four six caliber was widely used with the Belmagrave rifle, a Revacholian manufacturer. The BM dominated the battlefields of the Insulindian theater of the anti centennial revolution fifty years ago. Okay, so it's not a rifle a mercenary would be using. So that does seem to support the idea that Ruby is the one who shot. Because there's still the part of me that's like, I'm not entirely sure if the, the Class A chick isn't the third mercenary. And then maybe she just killed the guy because, I don't know, there's some other stuff going on behind the scenes we're not aware of. No, but Zeliga, a major firearm manufacturer, ended up with a surplus after the war. So there are still a lot of... Because if she was a mercenary... Rifles floating around, usually that... broken. The quality was appalling. That would explain why she would have access to a, you know, more military grade rifle. But if it is an antique, then that would be something that probably just anybody could potentially find. Who uses Bell Margrave rifles these days? Antiques enthusiasts, guerrilla fighters in distant countries, a few lucky jamrock bangers. You're looking for a well-preserved antique, most likely. Hmm. What are you thinking? I think I know where this came from. Okay, and? Shot probably came from a Bell Margrave rifle. An antique. That makes sense. There can't be many breech loading rifles floating around in Martinez or anywhere in Ravasho, really. That's probably a good thing. I have to hand it to the monarchs. It's quite admirable that they took the advice of criminologists last century and banned the use of breech loaders in peacetime. Some new RCM recruits get impatient with their muzzle loaders once they've trained with military grade weapons. But they realize it's worth it in the end. Hmm. Man, I guess it makes you consider every shot. Imagine if everyone, cops, citizens, mm. had access to firearms that could shoot multiple rounds. <laughs> Yo, okay, you're hitting all close to home, man. After the first shot, the second, third, and so on come much easier. But back to the investigation. Okay, um, something mysterious is afoot. Mysterious? Okay. Either way, we'll know when we find the gun. And the gun we found, well, we've sold it, I think, right? But the gun we found, it, was, it didn't work. I guess we could go poke back around there? I don't know. The bullet is still... What if we say something different? Safe. Okay, and an antique. Sure, there's some arms trafficking, but the laws prohibiting the use of breech loaders we inherited from the monarchy have been effective, from what I've seen. Some new RCM recruits get impatient. Imagine, okay. if, but back to the investigation. So what if it's an antiques enthusiast? Doesn't seem that likely, but we'll check out all possible leads. Next step. You don't really give me any info. <laughs> You see a once bright mural towering above you. The sun above the mural, a collapsed roof, broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall, and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. I don't know, could Ruby be in there? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical rune over there, or in that boat shack, in that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? Hey, that's a... We got, we got a, pl a lot of pluses here. Our shivers is not very good, but we do have some sources of shivers. Just gotta find them. And some shivers. 
I think we have at least two. Oh, wait, is this minus? No, that's plus. I think that's maybe it. We gotta check everything. Can't like right click or anything. Like there's no I just I just have a hard time believing this is the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> the once bright Nero towers above. What don't we have? So we found the empty trap. Electrical R and D. Heard Lena's true story. Is just a whisper away. In front of the pigs. Who are the pigs? That seems familiar, but I can't really remember. I don't know about death notification and found the jacket. I mean, the other stuff's for, you know... The Insulindian Phasmin? Even though you're sure you succeeded, all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. What was I even attempting to do here? Trying to talk to the wind, the city, whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now you're just standing there in the dusk hour with your hands fallen to your side. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? The prayer of sorts to Rivershaw. She could be anywhere. How do we find her? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. Man, she's in the bunker, man. <sighs> okay. In that damn bunker. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We already scanned most of the outdoor areas on our wild cryptid hunt. What? So we have an understanding of the what geography. You mean wild? <laughs> I mean, it was and wild because it was so much fun. Search. We've already searched that and can rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first, like we did in the village. And if that fails, if we don't find her? Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, tomb drainage, this place, I'm sure it won't come to that. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, oh. the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. All right. Look where it already got you. I guess. Suddenly, there's a sigh, carried on the molecules around you, moving, flowing from high pressure to low pressure, like that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath, flowing through it. Where does it go? In through the collapsed roof, flowing down a concrete staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs. And then, the beach below the boardwalk. It's winding tunnels. A whisper away. She's down there. I think she's down there, below this building. Okay. Why? Um... The wind told me. So, how do we get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. There's a ladder next to the sign, and we can climb it? Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old, and I plan <laughs> to live to see 70. Alright. I can go. Oh. There's a super sewer pipe, Kim. It could have all the money I need to buy my speakers. The cold pipe peeks out from beneath the rotten boards of the boardwalk. Could this be an alternative path into the fell building? Come closer and look Your in. Your eyes slowly begin to adjust to the darkness inside the drainage pipe. The lieutenant looks over your shoulder. What's in there? At first, you can't make anything out in the darkness at all. As your eyes adjust, oh, well, you can see I get some my trash. Flashlight? Crumpled up newspapers, cigarette butts. Someone has half-heartedly spray-painted skulls on the right side. And, and nothing. Broken glass from bottles thrown against the walls of the pipe. A syringe. Okay, let's look at it again with our flashlight, see if there's anything different there. Behind the at first, you as your eyes adjust and 
and nothing. And nothing? Given that this isn't a martial arts thriller, it's highly unlikely, and not without risk to our health either. However, the pipe suggests there may be an entrance to the basement around. The lieutenant's face lights up. He doesn't usually notice these little things. And it's right here. A maintenance door. Oh. We're at negative one right now. Well, um, probably not gonna happen. Alright, well, what's the skill check for climbing the ladder? And we're almost done with the day, though. We're about to ditch you, Kim. A rusty ladder leads to the roof. Well, I guess just because we can ditch you doesn't mean we should. We still have, because I mean, we want to, I guess, maximize our time just in case tomorrow is the last day. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Assess the situation. The distances between the remaining rungs are rather wide. You'd have to use the mounting brackets. However, they seem corroded and the peeling rust is razor sharp. Our feet and hands are invincible. In addition, the first rung is going to be tough to reach. It's what? Three meters above the ground? And you're... 190? I'm a, I'm a giant? Okay, but still, the roof is collapsing and the wind gets pretty brutal up there. Dismounting Ooh, look at our the shadow ladder puppet. is going to be hard. Perhaps if you were to not climb the ladder. Instead... Where? Where? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Astral projection. Be open-minded about this. Okay, Kim. What if I don't climb? What if I just teleport? Teleportation is not a thing. I mean, teleportation is a thing. It needs a bit of concentration. Okay, let's say teleportation is a thing. Wouldn't you need some kind of scientific... Oh, no, 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 this is psionic. Uh, you can't just do it without apparatus. It comes from within ourselves. Oh, yes, it could hurt a lot. He is restraining himself from using a parental tone with you right now. Okay, so... so we gotta, we gotta prep, alright, Kim? You just gotta concentrate. You see the right pair of shoes. Those are minus. Uh, we have some stuff to get. Okay, that's minus. <laughs> Maybe we don't have anything to get some of them. That's minus. God. They really, they really hate that stat, man. It's minus. It's minus. Wrong stat. Perception. There we go. Well, if they wanted negative, we could do pretty good at it, but... Yeah. Let's the teleport. rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. We'll just roll high. All you need to do is close just your eyes high. and concentrate. Darkness enfolds you. You can feel the distance between the bench and the first rung of the ladder. All you need to is teleport. Zoot, zap, pow, crinkle. It's like <laughs> magic. You feel yourself disappear. Your atoms fading out of existence. Okay, well, that's impressive, but... Bam! You find yourself on the roof, having mastered the art of physical displacement. Don't gloat. Just stand there like a Sumerian master. You know, for the record, you didn't teleport there. You just climbed the ladder with your eyes closed. Uh, yeah, that's what a non-believer would say. The wind at the top of the building starts howling loudly, blowing away the lieutenant's voice. Faintly, you hear. Damn, he's cool. Never mind. Find a way to let me in when you get inside. <sighs> Don't go adventuring with a backup, especially if we think the suspect may be hiding here. And then he also said, damn, he's cool. <laughs> We probably don't need the ledger right now. Central support beam is destroyed by artillery fire. That's rude. I wouldn't do that if I had a artillery. I only believe in ethical uses of artillery. 
You may be wondering what what exactly does that mean? I don't know, man. Sometimes you say some shit. Office furniture? Is that, is that just gonna take me back? Okay, it's gonna take me back. It didn't look like stairs, so. Collapse nearly sealed the basement. One can barely squeeze by. Overturned table is covered in orange mildew. Alright, you said not to go adventuring alone. Two rusty metal plates that slide apart form a crude door. It's been here under the boardwalk for a while. Who's there? What do you mean, who's there? It's me, Kim. Stop playing around and help me get the door open. You didn't say the password. Officer, are you okay in there? You really ought to open this door. It's dangerous to go ahead alone. Well, well it could be kind of Two fun. Two rusty metal plates. But Kim's our boy. The doors seem to be on rails, but they've gotten jammed. You grab a side and put some strength into prying it open. With the help of your partner, the two metal panels slide open with a creak. Huh. I hope no one dangerous heard that. You ready? Yes. Time to investigate these passages. Let's move quietly and not make more sound. You know, I guess we should. Because we have a bullet now, right? I don't know. I feel like I remember seeing something that said, like, you know, bullets. Holding the gun feels natural and satisfying. It's like an extension of your arm. The polished wooden handle almost fusing into your palm. I think my hand recognizes it. It reminds you of the day you first held it with fear and respect, hoping you don't have to use it in vain the sun was out in jamrock it was so long ago this gun sunrise parabellum will be the only thing standing between you and the all-consuming nothingness that threatens to eat the world sheathe it and wait herald it won't be long now we're a herald agon herald Suggestion. Yeah, you know, we should be giving this like some legendary level loot. This is like the, you know, late game area. A beam of flashlight, a crevice in the wall. Jim. Picture of me. It's us. You see that? We have a self portrait. Hey, but we're the one who committed the crime. This hat is so soft, so warm. It wraps around your head and your mind <laughs> with all manner of socio-economic theory. This is a new Shanka, right? Kras Mazov would have worn this, Yushenka. Would he? Mazov knew where to cook those thoughts. That's why it bears a Mazovian logo. Glory to the revolution, comrade. Whether you like it or not, wearing Damn. this hat has made you more communist. My flashlight can phase through things. Is this because I unlocked the ability to teleport? The stats? I didn't pay attention. Okay, it's no stats, it's just... Okay, do we want a different hat? Let me, uh... Our official investigator. Hat. And the glasses. You need some empathy since we might be, uh. Might have to talk somebody down or else you start blasting. Oh, yeah, there's bullets. We've got, we've got two bullets? Okay. I guess the gun came with one. Well, no, it shouldn't have. I don't know why we have two bullets. Maybe we just had a bullet on us the whole time? A mustachioed and mutton-chopped man, amateurishly depicted, gazes at you with sad eyes. A plaque reads, K. Mazov. That does kind of look like us. There is a spiderweb in the lower left corner of the portrait. I mean, you know, we look a little different there. 
Years worth of dust is shaken off. The full head of hair matched by an ample mustache and sideburns look a bit silly. Nah, I mean, that's a cool look. Someone crouches, heels digging into wet sand. Hands sweep across the sand. Grain stick into the frayed skin of the fingertips. An old man sits on a slab of concrete and taps his fingers against the glass of a scope. You shudder. Hmm. Kim, it's Comrade Mazov. Yes, I can see that. Looks like some communists were hiding out here. They left a long time ago. The lieutenant does not seem to share your enthusiasm. Think it could be connected to the Mazov bus we found in the students' room? Millions of depictions of Mazov have been produced. They're not all connected. Besides, that looked like some student. The youths always go for this kind of stuff. Maybe I should move in here. I won't stand in your way, but only after we're through with this case. A long time ago, how long? Half a century. This was probably part of the network of defense posts the communards built against the amphibious landing. I think the purpose of this bunker was to produce propaganda. It would have had radio equipment back then, but that's all been looted. It's all these secret weapons, caches, and secret bunkers. We have found a lot of those lately. I guess what most people think of as history tends to linger in rundown neighborhoods. Martinez being what it is, no one has gone through the trouble of cleaning out the old bunkers. Oh. Want to stop through here recently, though? You mean like Ruby? No, I think we've stumbled on a piece of history. Alright. I thought done yet? 13 minutes? Boot prints in the sand. Let's check over here first. Oh, we can't walk over there. What about here? Be sort of flashy lighting? Because I mean, it looks like there's a room in there. This isn't just glass. These are old computation components. These are computer components. Oh. Okay. Did I accidentally click discard thaw? And I see I see our boot prints. I see them. I see them. Be louder. The buzzing sound. The sound of the Here enemy. It is again. Like a swarm of hornets buzzing under your scalp. A strange tingling you can almost smell. Lieutenant, you feel some? No. What do you mean? Ghost? Hmm. Either way, we ought to be careful. There were footprints back there, and I'm pretty sure they were fresh. You really don't feel anything? No, but you are the sensitive one. It's not a quib. The situation is dangerous. He trusts your gut feeling on this. Saw them two in the sand back there. You think it's our suspect? Possibly. If she's in here, we need to plan our next step carefully. What do you mean? Once we detain a credible suspect, who knows what the Union and the Wild Pines will do. We'll set in motion events we have no control over. It will upset the balance of power in Martinez. The deadlock between the company and the Union will destabilize. Keep calm. Go over the whole situation in detail. Oh, okay. How bad do you think things could get? Well, we are not responsible for what we can't predict, are we? I don't think the entire city will be raised to the ground. Let's try not to worry, he thinks. If you can't predict it, there's nothing you could have done. Um... I mean, do we want to tell Joyce? I don't really like Everett's. I mean, I think Everett's plan is a little short-sighted, but... I guess I'd say I'm more on his side than the company. So I don't think we need to say anything to her. What do you think is waiting for us there? I think I see a cavern. Maybe more cellars? I think we've been careful enough. We still have the element of surprise. I wouldn't be so sure. Mm. You haven't exactly been sneaking. Or maybe not. Either way, once we go deeper, there will be no turning back. Okay. That, that sounds like a... I don't know if that's like a point of no return period or like a temporary point of no return. I do want to talk to Chickadee. So we may have to save this for tomorrow. Feels kind of weird, but like, I don't know, I'm a little... 
There's still some side stuff we want to do. I gotta go find this Insulinian Phasmid who's gonna be right here in the damn cage. Ha <laughs> ha! He thought he could come by when it was dark. A few locusts truck poor things. Well, maybe he got my ass. This time. What all... So what side activities do we want to do? Okay. We gotta do this, but we can't attempt that until our thought finishes. And we have... Fucking six minutes on our thought, Jesus. Asshole. Anything I can do for six minutes? We already read our books. I don't know anything new about the... The scent of apricots with a touch of cinnamon. Smells like the end of some distant summer. The surface of another planet, or some ancient temple. Ancient temple? Yes, from the height of antiquity, a long, long time ago, millennia ago, on an island of time you can never return to. End of summer? The sun sets into the sea, but the water does not boil. Instead, it turns to liquid gold. For a moment, the world's store of precious metals seems to increase dramatically, and you are rich. There is a movement next to you, the shuffle of a small coat, warm like the evening. But when you turn toward it, there's nothing there. Where did it go? Why are you talking to a gum wrapper? Take a deep, deep breath. Bitter, citrus, sweet. It seems to grow stronger like a glow with every breath you take until a blossom of skin oh. and flower petals erupts behind your closed eyes, made of toffee cream and distance you just had to take a dive feels very very familiar harry please you were supposed to discard it is it living in the past you found a trace of entities and stalking you across the plains the gloom stalker the conglomeration the shadowy organization behind your downfall possibly connected to the dreaded x something Granted, it's impossible to determine its true identity, but you can remember when you first smelled its treachery. Yes, use the tutti fruity gum wrapper. Reconstruct the day you first breathed in her untrustworthy atoms. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Hey, Kim. I got a ditch ya. It's getting cold. This late in the night. Time to call it a day. See you, Cam. Good night, officer. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. A lot. coastal wind still howls against the window of the shack. Occasionally, the waves crawl in under the foundation, producing a low hum. Listen. The room feels muffled. Like you pulled your hat over your ears. Outside, it is cold and windy. But you're inside, and it feels safe and warm. What is this place to you? Um... This is my new home. wonder where the old one went. Westward, across the canal, towers the whirling in rags. Door number one on the second floor is locked. Behind it lies a trashed room. One floor below, behind the counter, stands an irritable man. Damn right, he's irritable. In a small shack in the fishing village, a baroque heater hums quietly, emanating a sense of comforting warmth. A wash basin lies on the table, the water inside reflecting the somber face of the world. Far away, on the corner of Perdition and the Main, a nondescript building, obscured in a haze, it's vacant and lost, just like its tenant. Thank you, Strange Sensation, for a fair assessment of the current situation. Outside, the howl of the wind has picked up. The waves crash against the stilts again. It's as if you think the thought, but in someone else's voice. Revachol forever. Wasteland of reality. Uh, it's feet. 
Congrats, you're sober. Yeah. It will take a while for your body to remember how to metabolize anything that isn't sugar from alcohol. So you're going to be pretty ravenous soon. Eat plenty. You can expect your coordination and balance to improve in a couple of weeks. In two months, you might start sleeping like a normal person. Full recovery will take years, though. It'll be depressing. It's only going to be that take that long. It'll be boring. Don't expect any further rewards or hand claps. This is how normal people are all the time. Moment of truth. God damn it. <sighs> Oh, wait, that's Psyche. All right, that's not that bad. That's all of these are better. Okay. But. Okay, so it's it's basically just minus physical instrument. Because you're getting these negate, which is kind of stupid. I don't, that seems like weird design. Um, You get minus physical instrument plus everything that's not Inland Empire and... What was it? Suggestion? It's minus physical instrument. Or plus volition, empathy, authority, and a spirit of core. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Fortunately, the, the minus physical instrument didn't go away. We're still in kind of a shit spot there. I don't know, let's have to ask this lady on a date. <laughs> See how that goes. What was it? Was it a suggestion? It's probably a suggestion. Let's just check. The waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. I don't know. I just kind of want to do it. <laughs> suggestion. Definitely changing in front of her. Yeah, yeah. That's the way. This is suggestion. It's drama. Oh. Bro, where's my suggestion at? It's kind of counter it. Do I really only have plus one? Th there's, I don't believe that. We have multiple things that give suggestion. We have at least two, I thought. Guess not. No. No minuses. The waves are beginning to die down. Let's roll high. You think she really needs more of that after a man died at sea? What do I do then? What if I told you it is actually possible to go on a date sober? I'm listening. Before recorded history. Men and women were able to do simple, very primitive things together. But we're not drunk, we're sober. The they situation. just destroyed my stats in the process. <laughs> I'm a drunk, don't know if you notice, so I usually ask people to drink with me. I have, and I don't really. This time, though, thought I'd ask for a walk. Just a walk? I don't know, officer. I would not have taken you for an innocent perambulator. Please, please come to a sober walk with me. Where would this walk take us, officer? I have no clue. <laughs> Nothing creepy, strange, <laughs> or out there. Keep it eerie and simple. There's a nice view on the beach I found. Land's End. All right. I will walk with you. But you need to understand that nothing is going to happen. We're just walking. I'm just walking. That's all I want. Just a good old-fashioned walk. Me too. Been ages since I just had a normal conversation with one of you guys. She means men. All right, I'll go put the kids to bed and we'll meet at Land's End in 15 minutes. She doesn't wait for an answer. Oh shit. You better get ready. You gotta run, man. <gasps> go bust her ass. Okay, maybe we'll get some XP that will give us enough to put some physical instrument and then we can open the ice cream maker.
Hey, ask him for a friend. Where's Land's End? You have a date. Northern tip of the peninsula. All right, quickly, quickly. Northern tip of the peninsula. Uh, the northern tip? No. Oh god. Oh, we should probably put the gun away. <laughs> probably, t probably don't really need the gun on the. Okay, that gives him. Well, we we can we can take the. This. I doubt we're gonna need authority. There. Northern tip of the peninsula. I guess I'd be like past the church. Just dead and poor things. Beat me here. At the waves, a sudden gust picks up her dark hair and lets it fall again, tussled, wild. She brushes a oh, few stray me... locks from her eyes my flashlight. and only then spots you approaching. Hi, so here you are. It's late and the sun is going down. It'll be dark soon. If we stay here long enough, we will be joined by a cortege of drunks and teenagers. Know that you're not the first guy to bring a girl to Land's End. This is what the locals call a, a make-out spot. <laughs> that is not going to happen here today. I just want to make that clear, Dimples. Turns to face the sea once more. Her thoughts are still elsewhere, with distances across the water, and with the water itself. Across the rusty water, that's La Delta, the financial district. In the mist-covered distance, towers rise as a rebuke to the poverty of this coast. Seems surprised I made it. <laughs> Drinking men aren't known for keeping their appointments. Uh, it's a rock star thing, tardiness. I, you're the starest of them all. <laughs> Her laughter is throaty and warm. It rhymes with the waves and the cries of the gulls. As she turns to face the sun reflected in the waves and the skyscrapers rising across the bay, you cannot help following her steady gaze. You should say something, anything, maybe the tequila sunset thing. Uh, I don't know. It's a past incarnation, right? You know, just because we're, we're talking about this is the old us. No, a past incarnation of myself called himself Tequila Sunset. Wonder what that is. It's a common Ravicholian expression. It means drinking yourself to death. Oh, well, we're, sorry to host the verb. So, are you going to keep the name? Um, this is a new model. Need a new name. Can't wait to hear it. The remains of the dying sun are reflected in the waves and the skyscrapers rising across the bay. Your mind clears for a moment as your senses take it all in. Not just the glass skyscrapers fragile looking in the shimmering air. River Esperance flowing into the bay. Isn't it strange for this all-powerful thing, the sun, to be so generous towards us? I mean, you're just trying you to know, kill us constantly. The best to go out fishing is usually towards sunset, when the water is warmer. The sun also falls on the capeside tenements and war-torn ruins. An old sea fortress juts out, seemingly impervious to the sheen cast over everything else, shaking you out of your reverie. The sun does little for the dead, and those hopelessly lost in their own minds. Or people living in desert climates with sparse vegetation and little drinking water. Oh, you name your boat the sun? Oh, that was a bit of pride and a bit of superstition. Just enjoy the view. The salt in the air, 
I feel like that was an option to um actually her. Skewers, grit of the sand and the green glint of broken bottles. But still your gaze always returns to the dazzling streaks of light, wherever they may be reflected, their fading opulence. Actually, if you live in a desert climb, you probably don't like the sun that much. You pick that option, they should just like delete your save game. It's bringing us spring, summer. It's entirely on our side. No matter what we do or who we are, for absolutely no reason. Sunlight, no other powerful being, certainly no powerful organization or government. How can that be? Well, something's got to be on our side. I guess we wouldn't really be here if that thing wasn't on our team. Maybe some general remarks before you say something big. Work your way up to the cool. Um, <laughs> you think you're dying, man? Yeah, yeah, that's why we're out here. We're just doing field work. Uh, there's an interesting lit in your voice. Thank you. I'm half Ubi. My mother was from Ubi Sunt. I don't know Not what that is. Not a lot there, I hear. Though I've never been. The wind ruffles her hair as she looks at the setting sun. You got fish hooks in your ears? These? These aren't real fish hooks, silly. They're earrings shaped to look like fish hooks. A drunk called Rosemary brought them to me. I kept them. She's right. They're made mostly of plastic. A cheap novelty gift you can buy from a flower shop or a kiosk. The wind ruffles her hair as she looks at the setting sun. Well, do you wish you were out there fishing right now? I always do. I like it. It's like being on another planet. A water planet. With water worries and water joys. The wind ruffles well, her hair as she looks at the setting sun. Yeah, just roll fucking high. Here we go. Two different approaches to cap this off with style. Uh, I guess this is slightly more poetic. Let's go with this one. The only fault with the sun is it shines on us as well as... I mean, I don't like either of these, if we're being completely honest. But the only fault with the sun is it shines on us as well as our enemies. That it does. But then, we are also enemies to our enemies, hey? And so she shines on us. The cops and the commies, the killers and the saints. You know, the wind's gonna pick up soon, and I have to go, but... She takes her sword out of the scabbard. The blade shines in the gathering dark. Have this. Oh. The sun's good, but it doesn't stick things. I have no use for it anymore. You sure? No. Men around here are too drunk to pose a threat to me. Thanks. Farewell. Do it. What do I do with the sword? As she walks off, the wind picks up, and the light from the sun seems to fade. The crumbling silhouette of failed electrical R&D towers in the distance, beckoning. Put this to impress yourself. <laughs> Blade of this mass-produced saver has dulled over the years and won't slice or stab anyone. It still commands respect in your hands, however, holding on to its blake light hilt. Builds you with a sense of purpose and a memory of fate. Okay. We're cool. Um, apparently we failed that. Um. All right, we're gonna call it here. Next time we'll do some more solo nighttime adventures until we. Because, I mean, I don't know about the Ruby thing, like, because I don't want to, I mean, it doesn't feel like that should be, like, you know, the end of the game, right? But they kind of, they gave you the point of no return warning, but I don't know if that's, like, a soft point of no return, i.e. that, like, some things are going to cancel, or if it's, like, hey, once you do this, you're going to start, you know, initiate the end of the game. I'm not really sure. So we'll probably put that off as much as we can, I suppose. 
But yeah, I'm extra cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys. Thank you.